bed, so actually bad day today or a few days ago. I actually did manage to kill this uh, big boy and um, I don't know, it was so weird that I don't even think it was my fault. So this has absolutely all the outputs you can think of up to, uh, what is that, 45? 45 watts? Oh, it says, anyway. And uh, double duty type C, so both charges and discharges through it, very nice, very important. A lot of these ones I have only charge via the type C, which is complete bullshit. And even the YZX Studio, uh, what is this called? Mobile power, this only can charge through the type C, which is complete bullshit. It could do uh, resistance tests of the wire, but <clears throat> anyway. So basically, on this power bank, what I've ascertained, again, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99.5% sure, is that this button, unlike the smaller power banks that Xiaomi makes, is simply a reset. Right? So if you have power coming out and you press this button, it cuts off immediately, and then boots up and then starts renegotiating everything and so on and so forth. And so at the moment, expected behavior would be to have some charge going, have some lights blinking, we see absolutely nothing happening. And it keeps drawing 0 0.8, 0 0.9 watts ad infinitum. So it has done this for, I think, five hours yesterday. I was just curious to see if it catches fire or not. And um, it doesn't, but it um, doesn't do anything. All right, so still no button, no no lights, and absolutely no output whatsoever i mean we could measure the output but i, I don't that's yeah it is still in warranty i do have a three-year warranty on this so i will be sending it back which is an alarm ring yeah so as i said i will be sending this back which is why i will not be tearing it down the cells inside are still super good nick and the circuitry i imagine is very beefy but uh, yeah basically what i have done with it and why I'm letting, uh, letting you guys know is I got this trigger which had yeah, two discrete chips. Uh, they were completely unmarked. I've uh, encapsulated it in, um, in some heat shrink, double wall. And uh, it does have a type C out, which is not super accessible, but I mostly need it for my XT60 interconnect fabric. And I mainly would use it for car radios, which have a capacitor on the input, right? So they have a choke and a, oh, I don't know, like a thousand mic capacitor, right? And so I plug this in and immediately it goes out. I don't know what to say. I don't know, like, I've done this with other triggers, right? So I use this other, I have been using this other, other trigger for quite a long while and this has some dedicated type C negotiation chip. So I would actually recommend going with this one if you can. But um, I don't know, if you guys had any problems with these or if you know what happened, let me know. Um, if you had this happen to yours, Definitely let me know. I'm curious to see if, uh, if these do actually have some flaw. But, uh, right, if, if shouldn't the CC line over type C be protected, right? Be 20 volt tolerant. What if, what if my wire breaks iPhone style? Like, how, how the hell did it knock everything out? Like, I don't know. Anyway, that's been it. Have a good one.